All righty. So over the weekend, the media have decided that President Trump's a racist. Now, that's no different from any other weekend. Every weekend, the media decide that President Trump is a racist. Now, some weekends, they have more material than others to call President Trump a racist. Now, let me start with this. I, I want to start by talking about what makes someone a racist? What makes someone a racist? So I think there are a few different ways to look at this. One is a person whose entire worldview is inherently racist. So this would be like the Richard Spencer group of people, people who think that black people are innately inferior, more prone to criminality, uh, have lower IQs, but not that that ha not not in terms of, of um, it's not racist to suggest that black folks on average may have lower IQs because race racial groups differentiate, but that that is a natural thing uh, and that that has behavioral consequences that cannot be cured by culture, right? That, that you, you run into some really dicey territory there. But the idea that that, that you believe that black people are innately inferior, they're morally inferior, they're, they, they, are, they are inferior by dint of their skin color and their genetics, right? That is racist, okay? That's what racism is. So Richard Spencer is one type of racism. Then there are people who say racist things, right? You say a racist thing. So, when President Trump, for example, said that he didn't condemn the KKK and didn't know who they were, that was a racist thing in my view. I talked about it at the time. And then people say racist, Al Sharpton, when, when he says things about Jews that are racist or anti-Semitic, those are anti-Semitic things to say. When people do racist things, when people discriminate against black people in their businesses or discriminate against black people in their housing, right? These are racist things. But I think that what the media are trying to do right now is use the term racist and label people racist, so not actions, not activities. I'm always hesitant to label anyone overtly racist. Say that the person themselves is completely racist, unless we are suggesting that their entire worldview is dominated by racism. Now, there are racists, obviously, whose entire worldview is not dominated by racism, but when it comes to public policy, when it comes to public figures, we have to determine what's the usefulness of saying whether somebody is a racist or not. Now, there are three reasons why you would say somebody is a racist, and I'm gonna get to why I'm talking about this and all this, all this in a second. There are three reasons why you might suggest that somebody is racist. One, it's just true. You're saying it because you apply it across the spectrum. When someone holds racist views, then you are going to call it out. Al Sharpton is a racist, and you think Donald Trump is a racist, or Al Sharpton is a racist, and and uh, and Richard Spencer is a racist, and Jared Taylor is a racist. Right? You're going to try and call out racism wherever you see it, and you're going to label people racist based on their worldview. Okay, that's reason number one. Reason number two is because you're trying to use racism as a baton to wield against somebody. So this is when people suggest that everybody on the right is a racist, and that's why they can't be trusted, right? This is just a political baton that you're using to wield against somebody because racism is the most dangerous charge that you can throw against somebody in public life, right? That if you, if you shout somebody's a racist, you never have to listen to them again. That's the idea here. Okay, and then there's reason number three. Once you label somebody a racist overall, once you say that Donald Trump, for example, is a racist, which is what the media have been saying over the weekend, once you say Donald Trump is racist, then what you are do what you are doing is allowing yourself the ability to avoid evaluating individual instances of racism. Right? It allows you the ability to avoid saying whether he just did something racist or whether maybe there was another reason. So for example, if you think Donald Trump is a racist, now every time you talk about his immigration policy, you don't actually have to evaluate whether the immigration policy is bad or good, whether it is being driven by racial considerations, or whether it is just a, a, an immigration policy that, that makes sense for a variety of other reasons. Once you call somebody a racist, it allows you the ability to avoid saying what you think is good or bad about a policy, right? It allows you to, to paint with a broad brush.